What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you 10 different ways how to fix the black screen in OBS. Now last time I created this video, I only showed you how to do it in Intel. This video I will also show you how to do it in AMD. Now like I said, there's going to be 10 different steps, so try them all one at a time. We're going to be starting off very, very basic, and then we'll get into more advanced or complicated ways later on. So here we are in OBS, the first thing I'm going to be recommending is updating OBS. So head over to help and select check for updates. If there are any updates, make sure you update it. And number two, an easy one I recommend is just typing in OBS and actually uninstalling it and then reinstalling it. Number three is when you actually open up OBS, make sure you run it as an administrator. Number four is changing the compatibility mode of OBS itself. So all you want to do is search for OBS, just right click it and select open file location. From here you want to again right click it and select open file location. And as you can see it's got right here OBS 64, you just want to right click it, select properties. And from here where it says compatibility, you want to go to compatibility mode, you want to tick run this program in compatibility mode 4 and you want to select Windows 7. Now, mine's already checked because in the past I've experienced the black screen and this was the solution I found which worked for me. Now, on top of that, what you want to do is select run this program as an administrator. So you want to just tick that, then you want to select apply and OK. Number five, you want to make sure you're running the correct version of OBS for your system. You'll notice there is a 64 bit and also a 32 bit. So the way you find out which one you are on, if you just go to start, select the settings icon select system and then over to the left here that says about and right here it does say your system type 64-bit operating system or it may say 32-bit operating system x86 based processor so if it says x86 or if it says 32-bit of course run the 32-bit number six this is for nvidia users however amd don't worry i am getting onto you later on in the video you want to right click on your desktop and open up the NVIDIA control panel. If it doesn't show up, just search for it. Now, this is what it will look like. You want to select program settings. Now, again, because I have had OBS black screen problem in the past, I have also done this and this also helped me. So as you can see, it says select a program to customize and I'm just going to remove this. And what you're going to be doing is going to find OBS itself. So you can select add, then OBS should be here. If it's not here, you want to select browse and then you're just going to find it. So go to your C drive, go to program files x86 and you just want to look for OBS. As you can see, OBS Studio. You want to go to the bin, 64 bit, and then OBS 64 and you just open that. And now what you want to do from here where it says select the preferred graphics processor for this program, currently it's set to use global setting. You want to change this to integrated graphics. Now this is one which has worked for many people in the past as well. So change that and at the bottom right here, select apply. Number seven, moving to AMD users. What you want to do is right click on your desktop and I believe what you have is AMD Catalyst. You want to go to switchable graphics application settings, find OBS and change it to power saving. Number eight, also for AMD, I also recommend you try uninstalling your current Catalyst and download one of the older versions. A link to this will be in the description, it's very simple, just select which one you need. Number 9, what we're going to be doing is going over to the display settings, so right click on your desktop and select display settings. From here you want to scroll all the way down and you want to select graphic settings. Now keep this on classic app and you want to select browse. And what we're going to be doing is finding our OBS again. So it's in program files x86 and OBS studio. You want to go to bin. You want to go to 64 bit or 32 bit, whichever one is for you. And we're going to select OBS. So this will then come up. And what you want to do is select options. And where it says system default, you actually want to change this to power saving. And from there, select save. And number 10 is actually uninstalling OBS again deleting all the files, but this time you're going to be downloading an older version of OBS, which I will be putting in the description. So what you're going to do is open up your file explorer. Now over to the search bar here, what you're going to do is type in percent app data percent and select enter. And this will then come up. Now you want to check if there's anything here related to OBS. So as you can see, there is OBS studio here 
and what you can do is delete everything right here. So I don't want to do it right now simply because I'm recording, however after I finish recording I will record it on my phone just to show you that I'm doing it and it is safe to do so. Now from there after you've deleted everything from there go back to app data, this time you want to select local and again anything related to OBS you see here you do want to get rid of it. So here everything seems okay there is nothing related to OBS so we are good. However what you want to do is go to temp folder and again everything here you can delete as well. So this one I can delete while I'm recording so I'm just going to press Control A delete do this for all items and select continue. See some things can't be done just yet. That's because OneDrive is open, I can just skip that for now. But then after if you've got anything that's open then you want to do it later, of course just come back and do it. So now what I'm going to do is stop the screen recording. I'm going to go back over to app data. I'm going to go back to roaming and where it says OBS, that file I told you to delete, which is right here. I'm just going to go here and delete it while recording on my phone again just to show you that it is safe to do so. Okay so OBS is closed as you can see nothing is at the bottom and I have all this stuff here so actually I'm just going to back out to roaming and the file itself right here, the folder, I'm just going to press delete on my keyboard and just like that it's gone. So there you go it is safe to do and I do recommend it as well and since I'm currently recording with my phone I'm going to open OBS back up and we'll just enter that going to appear on my other monitor. As you can see here's OBS. Now because we deleted that file it's going to delete everything we had so I'm just going to press display capture, select OK, select OK and as you can see everything is back to normal. This is now recording my laptop monitor right here. So as you can see it is working with no issues.